On this episode of Limited Release Beer, we're headed to the High Sierras for a barrel-aged gym. Limited Release on tap for today. Ron, we are up in the Sierra Nevadas in the snowiest city in the country, Truckee, California. And we're here to see an uh, awesome little brewery called 5050. Uh, finally back to uh, another smaller, more intimate release party. Seems like we've been going to all these big ones recently. And these little guys, they hit way out of their weight. The Eclipse beer that we're here to try is sought after all around the country. Yeah, and head brewer Todd Ashman, uh, he's got a really unique style. What he does is he takes his base Russian stout and he puts it on nine, ten different types of wood barrel so you can really get a feel for how the wood impacts the beer's flavor. Yeah, absolutely. You know which one I'm super excited about? is the Pappy Van Winkle 20-year barrel. Wow. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. I can't yeah. wait. Ooh, I'll race you to the bottom. Ooh. Fifty Fifty was founded in 2007 by Andy and Alicia Barr. After 10 years in corporate America, they decided it was time for a change. They were lucky enough to recruit brewing legend Todd Ashman to join as head brewer, and since then have been turning out top-notch beer from their 10 hectoliter brew house. Fifty Fifty is known for their marquee stout, but they have a strong portfolio of beers, mostly focusing on maltier ales and barley wines. But their most well-known beer is the barrel-aged variant of their totality stout, Eclipse. 5050's Eclipse started as just two barrels stored in the dining room, but since then, production has expanded to require an off-site warehouse dedicated to barrel storage. Due to their brewery size, it takes over 50 batches of totality to make enough Eclipse for their annual release. Almost the entire months of March and April are dedicated to brewing Eclipse each year. So, we made it. Here we are. We're at the 5050 Brewing Company for the Eclipse release party. I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited too. I had to go through hell and high water to get here, <laughs> but now I'm here and uh, we're watching them set up, do the last setups back there. The place is looking great. I went back in the kitchen. I saw some of the food they're making. It looks fantastic. And uh, they've got the 10 
varieties up on the board up there. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a nice long uh, a long party to enjoy all these different varietals. And they're also breaking out uh, older year uh, variants as well. So if 10 wasn't enough, we get even more. But uh, I think we're up to the challenge. I'm glad we got a hotel room across the street. Yeah, <laughs> me, me too. Uh, they've set up the uh, the space here. There's supposed to be about 150 people. I mean. It's a it's a decent size uh, brew pub, but yeah, it might feel a little little, little full in here, which is which is a good thing. Yeah, uh, they have uh, the patio set up though, in case the people really want to go outside. It's 12 degrees, which um, I guess you have to warm yourself with a little Russian stout. I think I can do that. Well, this is the second brewery that Eclipse has been made at. I when I was with Flossmore Station Brewing Company in Flossmore, Illinois, um, I started to brew what would eventually be called Eclipse in 1997. I was awarded the first gold medal to GABF for a bourbon barrel aged beer. And that was Eclipse in the experimental category in 1998. The party started at 5 p.m. and the staff was busy putting up finishing touches until the doors opened. although they did have a minute to prepare themselves for the crowd. There is bourbon, there is rye whiskey, there is corn whiskey, and uh, we've dabbled with brandy this year with rum, and uh, you know, it, always with spirit barrels. I mean, at any given time, I believe there are somewhere between seven and eight million in process in the state of K Kentucky alone. And uh, generally they are, you know, they're dumping 100,000 a day between all, you know, in the Louisville, Kentucky area alone just to keep up with typical bottling. Once the guests came in, the tastings began. In addition to the Eclipse variants, 5050 had several other barrel projects to showcase. Landslide, hands down, landslide, landslide. The Amarillo and Centennial are just awesome. They go together awesome. It's just a perfect citrus bomb of hops and 9.5% ABV. You can't even taste it at all. It's awesome. Uh, I liked vanilla a lot. We're getting that from almost everybody. Yeah, yeah I, the second vanilla, I, I don't know if I could kill a bottle. The first glass, awesome. Um, but yeah, the Grand Cru from last year, delicious. It really kind of comes down to how familiar the taster is with those brands, because there's going to be a lot of depth and width um, between the variants. Some may have picked up more alcohol than others. The High West uh, bourbon and the High West rye might show up, be a little more spirit forward, whereas Maker's Mark might be a little shy. The idea is that today is a, a perfect day to go through everything that we have available and everything is going to be quite distinct. So the party is in full swing. Oh yeah, this place is packed. This place is absolutely jam full. I gotta say, for it being 10 degrees outside, I feel like I am in like Ecuador. It is so hot right now. A fun atmosphere, people are great, all fueled by the magic of Eclipse. By the way, Vanilla Eclipse, you wish you were here you wish because you were you're here. not getting it anywhere else. This is it, baby. <laughs> yeah, I've had about a half a dozen of them now, uh, and the barley wine and the others, and the vanilla is by far my favorite so far. It is pretty crowded in here. The crowd seems pretty lively. Like They're constantly kind of rolling out new foods about every 20 minutes, and they basically have wait staff walking with platters and you just grab stuff as they go by. It's pretty sweet, and it's good stuff. This, <laughs> this is a lot more than an Eclipse party. It's a gigantic bottle share yes. with people from all over that just happens to have all the Eclipse on tap. It's been, a, so far, it's been a, just an amazing party. The, uh, the rum barrels are eight, roughly 18 to 19 years old. The barrels are originally bourbon barrels, and then they go through that aging process, and then they go on to Puerto Rico, where they get three to four turns of uh, rum, and then we get them 
So they're pretty much oak neutral. There's a little bit of rum in them. I, I think it's subtle, but they're apparent. You know, the barrels had, you know, had a good life. So far, every year we very consciously try to up it from the year before. A lot of that is dependent on our brewers and the product they put out and our kitchen and the food they put out. And I feel like tonight they both excelled big time. Um, it's an awesome vibe. We always love the people that show up. And so outside of the U.S., we're in Canada, Denmark, and Japan. But we're very careful about, we realize we have a very limited, everything is done behind those doors right now. So until we expand, we don't want to overcommit. 2014, we'll see um, uh, expanded barrel-aged barley wine, which will go into bottles. Annularity will go into bottles. There's going to be a lot. We're going to, you know, Eclipse will probably stay at its current level as we expand into other pr product lines within the barrel-aged umbrella. After six hours at the event, we decided to call it a night. Good night, sweet vanilla Eclipse. Good night. So Rob, what do you think of the event? It was a great time. The brewery staff, they did a great job making sure everybody was having lots of fun. And the beer was amazing. Truly. Being able to compare the different barrel aged styles side by side really showed off how much the impact the wood has on each of the beers. Well, and we even hosted a horizontal tasting back at home base to really showcase the variety of flavors that a master brewer can achieve merely through barrel selection. Yeah, that was a really fun night. My biggest problem now is remembering the seemingly thousands of wax color codes for all the bottles I bought. That yeah, seems like a good problem to have. Well, until next time, keep on drinking. This is a very small event, so purchase tickets as soon as they go on sale. Book a room at the hotel across the street as it's only a short walk away. Partake in the bottle share that's going on as there was some great beer flowing. Make sure to try all the drafts. There was a lot of great variety being poured. With world-class skiing and casinos just a stone's throw away from the brewery, make a weekend out of it. Enjoy your time in the high Sierras. <laughs>